Hey guys, today's video will be on our Laceus colony. This video was a bit delayed because of some issues with the previous colony that was supposed to have a video on it, but there's been some unexpected changes with it. So today we'll be looking at this Laceus colony. So to start off, I've had this colony for only a few weeks, but in this development so far, they've grown a great amount. I hope to see this colony really success, and I really hope that it lives a long life into the future. So let's take a look on the inside. So far, they've been doing amazing with their brood, which I'll show a clip of right away. And they're also doing really good with healthy status. Um, the only problem that I've ran into so far is their water situation. When I made this test tube, I don't know what I was thinking, it was a while ago, and it didn't have a colony in it for the longest time, and I should have just removed the cotton, but I didn't. So there's still moisture there, but there's not a lot of water left. So they're definitely, they're definitely going to be due for a new test tube soon. The reason I haven't done it already is because in one failed move attempt, or I literally waited one week, they didn't move, and it's not that I was impatient, but I didn't want to risk anything happening with two test tubes sitting on the thing taped together. I just didn't trust it with people in my house and everyone else, so I decided to take it down for now, since they were not interested in moving. So hopefully soon they will be, and the next attempt I'm almost positive that they will move because I put a little small drop of water in there and they did kind of run at it, but I realized that was a bad mistake because I didn't want to let loose water in there, so I replaced it with a soaked cotton ball instead. So hopefully this colony ends up doing well in the end, and hopefully they'll move into their new test tube because um, they really need to. It'll be very helpful for me and them since they need water to survive, so without further ado, let's move on to the next colony. So, let's take a look at our incornets, or supposedly what I believe they are. I read all your guys' comments, and I'm debating whether or not it's a species that is not acornets, or it is. Looking at the pictures really does show that it looks like acorn ants, but at the same time, it could be something completely different. I'm not going to ask you guys for help again because I don't want a huge comment debate, but if you go on a, if you want to, go for it. I myself do believe that they are acorn ants because they are like indigenous to where I live, but at the same time, there are other species that a friend has showed me that are very similar to them. It's really hard to make up my mind because I'm not completely sure. So at this point, I'm just going to call them acorn ants because I'm unsure. And I don't want to get the species wrong, even though technically I would be getting it wrong if they were not acorn ants right now. But besides the fact, let's just take a look at them. So, so far, as you can see, they do have a decent amount of brood. And for some reason, an ant that seems to bury itself underneath the cotton. Possibly to reach the water better, but the moisture seems to be coming fine in other places. So maybe he's just a little crazy. So, the brood situation is good. There's been lots of big brood development lately. I've been giving them lots of food and honey, and they really enjoy raw honey more than skimmed honey. So, it's really interesting to see that they like that more, which in reality does make sense to why they would, but I just find it fascinating to see that they do have a preference. So, to wrap things up so far, we know that these may or may not be acorn ants, and I think that that's really fascinating to see the, the variety of species that we do actually have in Canada. We may not have so many different species, but we have a variety of the few that we do have. So that is fun. Um, I just want to thank you guys for, if you made it to this far in the video, for watching. And if you don't mind hitting the like, it really does help me out and shows that you guys support me. So that's great. And I just want to... So I just want you guys to know that I really do appreciate it when you guys comment, like, and subscribe, all that stuff. It really does help me out, and I just really want you guys to know that. So I'll definitely try to upload some more videos, because I know there's been a lack, and I always say this, and I'm going to say it again. And I promise to get a little bit better at that. But next video, I'll do another thing where I'll have two uploads. I think that's a comfortable spot to be, kind of two uploads per video. Or, sorry, two columns per video. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.